Hi, I'm Eric Curlin from 3D Space. Now, if you wanted to take your own 3D photo, you can get a 3D camera like this Fujifilm W3. As you can see, it's got two lenses, a left lens and a right lens, to take pictures for each eye. But back in the earliest days of photography, in the 1850s, the first stereo photographers they had to figure out how to take a left and a right picture with a single camera. What they would do is they would set their camera up, they would tell their subject to be very still, and they would take their first exposure. And these exposures were pretty long, so their subjects had to stand still for quite a long time. After they'd exposed the left eye view, they'd remove the glass plate, put in a second, move the camera over slightly, and expose for the second view. And again, the subjects had to stand perfectly still. Now, this was great for people, not so much for animals or children. So eventually, the camera uh, makers and photographers realized that they needed to have cameras that had two lenses and exposed two images at the same time. But the interesting thing is, the method that the photographers used in the 1850s is something you can still do today with any digital camera. I'll demonstrate. I have a tablet here. You can do this with a, a camera phone, a digital camera, a tablet phone. It's affectionately called the cha-cha method of shooting 3D, and here's how it works. What I'm going to do is take my camera and put my weight on my left foot, and I'll take the first picture. And then I'll shift my weight to my right foot, and I'll take a second picture. And I end up with a left and a right from about the right separation. Now there's software that you can download. It's free software called Stereo Photo Maker. You can get it at stereomaker.net. And it lets you take that left and that right and combine them together into something that you can look at with 3D glasses or on a 3D TV. And you end up with a 3D image with a single camera. Pretty cool. Now if you want to learn more about the early 3D photographers, or how you can take your own 3D pictures, visit our website at 3 dspaceorg and please make a donation so that we can open our 3D Museum and Educational Center and teach more people about 3D. Thank you.